congratulations. You made a great defensive play, took one away from Tucker, and then you got one of your own in that big ninth inning. Uh, just your thoughts on this marathon. Yeah, that was a great team win right there. Um, we had some of the guys come in in the bullpen and make some big pitches and big situation with guys on base right there. So it was great for them to step up and pick each other up coming out of the pen. Great that we were able to get them some insurance and some breathing room there in the ninth inning. So, you know, we were talking, you, you, the more games I watched, I figure, you know what, you, you're you a dead red hitter. It doesn't mean you can't hit a slider because you hit a two-run home run tonight. So what's your mindset? Uh, you know, I, you know the, ever since you came up in 2017, I'm saying this guy's one of the best fastball hitters that I've seen on the Orioles. So when when they throw you so many breaking balls, is it something you work on in batting practice, something with uh, Don Long? Yeah, that's something we've definitely discussed. And uh, even when I'm in a bad position with my body at the plate, I'm still able to hit the fastball. So I get away with some of the moves that I make and uh, having to deal with some of the injuries that I have. Um, a lot of those old habits come back early on like they have here since I came off the IL. But we were able to identify them early. Um, I kind of made do with what I had at the time hitting the fastball. But um, these last four or five games, I feel myself holding those positions and uh, doing the things we're talking about, laying off the tough breaking balls, uh, the ones they want you to swing at early in the count, and, uh, and, and just getting a mistake late like I did there in a 1-2 count. When you, um, when, you, um, when you see Houston, and, you know, we saw them last week. They came in. I mean, they had a great series. When you see how disciplined they are, you know, as a young player, and you look at guys leading, you know, Brantley's leading the, the league, and then you see Correa, and then you see Altuve, does that help you as a young player, how disciplined they are at the plate, knowing what they want to hit? Yeah, it's uh, it's great for us to be able to see a team like this offensively and see how disciplined they are. They don't swing at a lot of first pitches, but when they do, they're on them because they're mistakes. They don't chase. Um, even with two strikes, they just won't chase out of the zone. They're so disciplined. And they have four or five guys on their teams with 40 walks, 360 on base, and it just makes the pitchers throw a lot. They get tired, and pitchers make more mistakes. So um, I notice in all these games where we end up getting a lot of hits and we score a lot of runs, a lot of those big innings come from one or two walks or deep at bats where we continue to foul pitches off, and we get some big hits late with uh, those guys that get on base via the walk. So just our ability to continue to control the strike zone, especially early in the count, and just waiting for those mistakes and that's what that team does so well and i think we can learn a lot from watching their at bats all right austin take us through the tucker play uh, you pulled one out of the seats on him uh, uh what did it look like from your end yeah i was very high i was wondering if it was going to hit the roof up there this is my <laughs> first time playing here uh -huh. so i had a lot of time to sit there and wait at the wall i was just hoping i wasn't going to see a glove uh from somebody with an astros shirt on reach over and <laughs> snag it from me but i was able to to get up there and, uh, you know, take one away from them. Terrific play. Great night. Uh, congratulations. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.